Okay. Give myself a little brief, little break. This will be my third chapter. I take a little time out in between, honestly. But this is a whole pint, you know. that up. Chapter 3 of Helaman. More migrations to the north. A land of large waters. Lake Superior? Buildings of cement. Yeah, what's up with that? All these concrete structures they got in this book. How come we can't find any? And the Aztecs, they used um, quarried stone, like the Egyptians, you know. I've got a nephew who thinks that Israelites built the pyramids, and I can't talk him out of that stupid idea, unfortunately. You know, because they're building with mud brick like they did when they were slaves later on in Babylon, which is probably what they were really talking about. Not blocks of limestone that have been carried for miles. Well, same thing in America. There's no cement structures until we Americans made them. I believe, anyway. That's, unless I, if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, many records kept... Helaman's son, Nephi, succeeds him. Another Nephi. One, and now, it came to pass. Okay, it's still got a huge head on it. <laughs> Whoops. Screwed that up. Man. Make some room for my my face. Oh, I think I might have overdone that. In the forty and third year of the reign of the judges. There was no con no contention among the people of Nephi, save it were a little pride, which was in the church, which did cause some little dissensions. Nothing a little execution won't solve among the people little dissensions um, which affairs were settled in the ending of the 40 and third year two and there was no contention among the people in the 40 and fourth year Neither was there much contention in the 40 and 5th year. We're just chewing up the calendar here. <coughs> Three. And it came to pass, just like it knew. In the Forty and sixth, yea, there was much contention and many dissensions. Too bad they had a nice streak going there. In the which there were an exceeding great many who departed out of the land of Zarahimla and went forth 
unto the land northward to inherit the land. <sighs> Four. And they did travel to an exceeding great distance insomuch that they came to large bodies of water and many rivers. Five. Yea, and even they did spread forth into all parts of the land, into whatever parts it had not been rendered desolate and without timber, because of the many inhabitants who had before inherited the land. And that didn't teach you anything, huh? Six. And now, no part of the land was desolate, save it were for timber. But because of the greatness of the destruction of the people who had inhabited the land, it was called desolate. Thanks for clearing that up. And there being but little timber upon the face of the land, nevertheless the people who went forth because of exceeding ex became exceeding expert in the working of cement. Therefore they did build houses of cement, in the which they did dwell. Eight, and it came to pass, They did multiply and spread, and did go forth from the land southward to the land northward, and did spread insomuch that they began to cover the face of the whole earth. <coughs> From the sea south to the sea north, from the sea west to the sea east. 9. And the people who were in the land northward did dwell in tents and in houses of cement, and they did suffer whatsoever tree should spring up upon the face of the land, that it should grow up, that in time they might have timber to build their houses. Even though they got perfectly good cement houses now. Yea, their cities, and their temples, and their synagogues, and their sanctuaries, and all manner of their buildings. Ten, and it came to pass. I got to start this one over. That there is a drink coming. It's a Grateful Dead doing the Twilight Zone. Ten. And it came to pass, as timber was exceeding scarce in the land northward, they did send forth much by the way of shipping. Eleven. And thus they did enable the people of the land northward that they might build many cities both of wood and of cement. Twelve, and it came to pass. Ugh. 
that, there were many of the people of Ammon who were Lamanites by birth, did also go forth into this land. 13. And now there are, are many records kept of the proceedings of this people by main, many of this people, which are particular and very large concerning them. A hundredth part of the proceedings of this people, yea, on account of the Lamanites and of the Nephites, and their wars and contentions and dissensions, and their preaching and their prophecies, and their shipping and their building of ships, and their building of temples and of synagogues, and their sanctuaries, and their righteousness and their wickedness, and their murders, and their robbings, and their plunderings, and all manner of abominations and whoredoms cannot be contained in this book. <sighs> Fifteen. But behold, there are many books and many records of every kind, and they have been kept chiefly by the Nephites. 16. And they have been handed down from one generation to another by the Nephites, even until they have fallen into transgression and have been murdered, plundered, and hunted, and driven forth and slain and scattered upon the face of the earth and mixed up with the Lamanites until they are no more called the Nephites becoming wicked and wild and ferocious yea even becoming Lamanites 17. <coughs> and now I return again to mine account. Therefore, what I have spoken has passed after there had been great contentions. It almost came to pass, but that doesn't quite count. Okay. And disturbances and wars and dissensions among the people of Nephi. 18, and the forty and the sixth year of the reign of the judges ended. 19, and it came to pass that there was still great contention in the land, yea, even in the forty and seventh year, and also in the forty and eighth year, twenty. Nevertheless, Helaman did fill the judgment seat with justice and equity. Yea, he did observe to keep the statutes and the judgments and the commandments of God, and he did do that which was right in the sight of God continually, and he did walk after the ways of his father, insomuch that he did prosper in the land. 21. And it came to pass uh, that he had two sons. He gave unto the eldest the name of Nephi, and to the youngest the name of Lehi, 
and they began to grow up unto the Lord. 22. And it came to pass... that the wars and contentions began to cease in a small degree among the people of the Nephites in the latter end of the forty and eighth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. 23. Excuse me. Very necessary. Twenty-three. And came to pass. I always forget something. In the forty and ninth year of the reign of the judges, there was continual peace established in the land, all save it were the secret combinations which Gadianton the robber had established in the more settled parts of the land, which at, at that time were not known unto those who were at the head of the government. Therefore, they were not destroyed out of the land. 24. And it came to pass. That in this same year, there was exceeding great prosperity in the church, insomuch that there were thousands who did join themselves in, unto the church and were baptized unto repentance. 25. And so great was the prosperity of the church, and so many the blessings which were poured out upon the people that even the high priests and the teachers were themselves astonished beyond measure. 26. And it came to pass... that the work of the Lord did prosper unto the baptizing of many to the church of God. Many souls, yea, even tens of thousands. 27. Thus we may see that the Lord is merciful unto all those unto all who will, in the sincerity of their hearts, call upon his holy name. You know, sh same shit works for Scientology, uh, you know, uh, any kind of faith, you know, uh, Heaven's Gate. Just, if you think, if you, if you feel this feeling, then you know it's what you want to believe. And lucky for you, it, it's true, because you feel it in your heart. 28. Yea, thus we see 
that the gate of heaven is open unto all, even to those who will believe on the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, even though he has, won't be born for another 43 years, according to the footnote. Give or take. 29. Yea, we see that whosoever will may lay hold upon the word of God, which is quick and powerful, which shall divide asunder all the cunning and the snares and the wiles of the devil, and lead the man of Christ in a straight and narrow course across the everlasting gulf of misery which is prepared to engulf the wicked. I'm sure he, he means you too, ladies. So, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to help. 30. And land their souls, yea, their immortal souls, at the right hand of God in the kingdom of heaven, to sit down with Abraham and Isaac and with Jacob and with all our holy fathers and go no more out. Sounds kind of creepy. 31. And in this year there was continual rejoicing in the land of Zarahemla and in all the regions round about, even in all the land which was possessed by the Nephites. Thirty-two. And it came to pass... that there was peace and exceeding great joy in the remainder of the forty and ninth year, yea. And also there was continual peace and great joy in the fiftieth year in the reign of the judges. 33. And in the fifty and first year of the reign of the judges, there was peace also, save it was the pride which began to enter into the church, not into the church of God, oh no, uh, but into the hearts of the people who profess to belong to the church of God. You're not fooling anybody. Remember the book of Acts, where Paul murders that couple for, uh, or I mean, makes them drop dead through magic, uh, because they were lying to God, not to men. <sighs> yeah. I mean, because there really is a true Scotsman, and it's in verse 33. Uh, 34. And they were lifted up in pride, even to the persecution of many of their brethren. Now, this was a great evil, which did cause the more humble part of the people to suffer great persecutions. And to wade through much afflictions. 35. Nevertheless, they did fast and pray oft, and did wax stronger and stronger in their humility. <laughs> yeah, humility. <laughs> I didn't know that was a muscle. <laughs> 
and firmer and firmer in the faith of Christ. Unto the filling their souls with joy and consolation, yea, even to the purifying and the salvation of their hearts, which uh, sanctification cometh because of their yielding their hearts unto God. <coughs> Yeah, go right for the heart, not the brain. 36. And it came to pass. Hang on. Verse 37, I drank it already. In the fifty and third year of the reign of the judges, Helaman died, and his eldest son, Nephi, began to reign in his stead. And it came to pass. did fill the judgment seat with justice and equity. Yea, he did keep the commandments of God and did walk in the ways of his Father. And that's it for chapter 3. That's definitely for me. Three in a row, that's enough. Anyway, we got a, a good dent put in here. So. See me, I hope in the next throne chapter, chapter 4, which at a glance looks kind of thirsty. Peace. What the fuck? Ow. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm going to be having a power nap about now. Bye. I'm editing this shit later.